BYU leads the conference in threes. TCU first in the country. In fast break points, we are underway. There. It's going to be a lot of that tonight, I would assume, for Khalifa. Dallin Hall puts it in drive. Off the glass and in, BYU up early. And they can beat you in a lot of different ways. Nice backdoor cut. Who else delivering there? Ali Khalifa. Now you've got to be aware. You cannot overpressure on the wings because they have the court space so well. They've got room to roam to cut to the rim and then the passer and Khalifa. Peavy gets physical as Nell. Here's Emmanuel Miller who drops it off downstairs for Xavier Cork. Peavy pulls the trigger. Knocks it down. A little step back by Peavy and Take advantage of that mismatch to see if Khalifa can go out on the perimeter and guard Peavy. Oh, showing off some quickness. Finding Johnson. Taking the back door to two more for BYU. Rebound caroms to Avery Anderson. He takes it across the timeline and whips it to Nelson. Jameer Nelson taking matters into his own hands. Good job by Jameer Nelson. Just kind of creating out of transition, and that's what TCU has to do. But they've got to do a better job down here, that's for sure. Avery Anderson will launch. Splash. Good job by Anderson. Shot ready coming off that little pin down screen. That's not his game. He's only made 18 on the season, but look comfortable in that set. BYU with the basketball. They're 3 of 5 from the floor tonight. We just saw the big three from Anderson. They are 3 of 4. TCU is. Waterman answers off the glass in traffic. Well, TCU's really overplaying on the wings, and they might have to make an adjustment on that. And he turned 25 yesterday. One of the oldest players in the NCAA. One of the craftiest players in the NCAA. Khalifa drops it off from Dallin Hall, who makes no mistake. You gotta stay on your feet. If Khalifa makes that jumper, that's not a big deal. But breaks the defense down with that little pump fake. You leave. Leave the floor, that's trouble. Oh, Emmanuel Miller. Don't blink, folks. You might miss something tonight. He is 50 and 10 here at the Marriott Center. Trevin Nell gets hammered. No call. Pressure extended as we see Richie Saunders in the basketball game, giving Avery everything he can handle. Chuck O'Bannon. Happy birthday. Dixon can live with some of these layups because they're taking away the three with the hard pressure, and then they're making shots at the other end. Tennyson, he'll hoist that. Again! Nothing but the bottom of the net for Trey Tennyson. Stolen away by Cork. Miller sets his sights for the rim and finishes. Well, Saunders missed that little easy one down low because of the fact that the bigs of Cork and Miller and company were in the lane and the length of TCU bothering BYU a little bit, especially on the perimeter and in the lane. And keep in mind, TCU still without Ernest Ude. Day to day with the leg injury. Boost Triore makes that play. BYU swallowing a poison pill offensively. They are one of six from three. Triore, wow. Taking Mustafa to school. A dribbling display by Jackson Robinson. So nimble in traffic off the window for two. Shot clock at four. Nelson activates and is rejected by Jackson Robinson. Dallin Hall. Good look at a three over the rainbow. Waterman hustles to the board but throws it away. Jameer Nelson Jr. to Miller. And that's exactly what it takes to stop a run like that. Hall tried to follow up and couldn't get it done. O'Bannon pulls the trigger. Splash. Thought better of the three. Dropped it off. Two-man game. Miller denied. Offensive board. He works away and finishes. A good second opportunity there. Very incidental, but he did knock Nelson over. Tennyson. He gets daylight. He's going to launch it. Bombs away. Well, there's no doubt. He's not going to have a couple bad games in a row from the outside. He's too pure. Guy was 0 of 5 against Baylor. Last time out from beyond the three-point arc. He is 3 of 4 tonight. 
Taking the back door to two points is Trevin Nell. There's absolutely no doubt the scheme TCU has defensively. Their game plan, get up into BYU. If you give up a layup, so be it, but we're not giving up the threes. Jameer Nelson didn't look pretty, but it counts. Jameer Nelson Jr., one of three guys in the Big 12, averaging 10 plus points, three plus assists, and two plus seals. Wow, Emmanuel Miller off the follow. TCU 7 of 8, 87%. Wow, Micah Peavy looking like a pick six. Jam! Well, again, the physicality. Miller pressuring the ball, overplaying on the wing. These guys are out, moving on the catch, aggressive up in the vision of the ball handler and closing out on shooters quickly. Richie Saunders absorbs the contact and finds a way. They got an open look, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> Bodies banging everywhere. Johnson coast to the hole. Big bucket in transition for TCU to stop the bleeding. Shot clock under 10. Cork, crafty. Another offensive board for PV finishes. Dallin Hall holds the ball above his head, staring into the eyes of Avery Answers, and now stares down the barrel of a three and drills it. The baseline drive and roll to the corner. Waterman with the first block, Khalifa with the second. Khalifa, nice look back door. Johnson finishes in the foul. Well, Khalifa, a little bit more free vision on that. Anderson elevates. Brick. They scramble for it. Court comes up with it and puts it in. Well, that was the issue for BYU in the first half. Just those 50 50 balls in the lane coming off the rim. TCU just a lot quicker and tougher to lose balls. Khalifa wide open. Ball's knocked into the forecourt. Trey Tennyson wisely scoops it up, and guess who? Emmanuel Miller rams it home. Khalifa is trying to get back and protect, but too many bodies flying at the rim, including Miller on the weak side. 13 points for Miller, five of eight shooting from the floor. Hall has it poked away. He gains possession underneath, they go to Waterman. He finds the handle off the glass and in. And that was blocked by Avery Anderson. It's been all Miller as far as that matchup is concerned. Foose Traore gives the Cougars life out of the timeout. Quick drop step, a little, he's playing a little bit too tight and then he, instead of Sliding his feet, he reaches in and that's more involved on the glass. Dallin Hall, like an ice hockey player, going behind the net. Then he finds Trevin now. He's got 14 points. Crowd on its feet. Coogs on the run. Extra pass. Three. No. No. Tried to make it two straight. Richie Saunders bangs the offensive boards. Paul says, you want me to go right? I'll go right, but let me drop it off for my main man, Trevin Nell, who is on fire. Six of 12 from beyond the arc. Crowd, you hear him chanting Foos. Nice defense by Coles. Challenged him to make the shot. Here's Jackson Robinson. Triore pulling his way to the basket. Using that soft touch. Well, BYU's locked in, too. They're, they're playing much better this half. It's not like TCU's playing bad. It's just BYU is really cooking. Well, speaking of cooking, Coles lights the fire and extends the lead to four. He's 39% three-point shooter, so he doesn't take a lot of them, but you see he's got good form and confidence. Here's Coles again. Steps in front of the pass. Statue of Liberty to the hole. And the lead now is six. Tennyson will launch if he gets any daylight. Jameer Nelson Jr. That is that body control you talked about. Body control. Looks like that. Another run. But TCU is 
which held the ship a little bit, but then they're wide open. Their defense is taking a step back this half. Johnson whips it to Hall, who makes no mistake. Got to stay home on the perimeter. That's with BYU. They lure you into that. They get you the second, the third, the fourth dribble. Like, you're, you have to help. You have to go to the glass. And then they turn to look outside. No intention of shooting. They're going to find the open man on the perimeter. Micah Peavy rejected second block of the game for Ali Khalifa. Flips it to Waterman, who fakes. Tried to lose Cole, couldn't do it. Nice fake by Tennyson, and the body lean! Showing off the balance and finishes butter. Gives him more of a presence around the basket. Speaking of which, with the finesse, the big fella. Richie Saunders controls, always with the Pistons pumping. Whips it to Jackson, three try, down! BYU could tie or take the lead. Saunders floats. We are tied. Richie Saunders, the unlikely hero. BYU's first lead since 15 13. Triori shakes and bakes. The dancing bear to two more. Well, Triori. Nothing there. Cork does a pretty good job at the footwork. Down by 17 at half. Where they're going to try to go back outside or no? Post up. Miller tried to jam it home off the miss. Too strong. Danny Dickens going to switch to zone if they can ever get organized, and they don't. No better time for Jackson Robinson to glide to two points. 20 to 2 run. Rejection! Bruce Triore's presence is felt everywhere tonight. Chuck O'Bannon winding his way to the hoop absorbing contact. Chance at a three point play. Can TCU answer? Jameer Nelson can. Quiets the crowd. Good job by Nelson. Saunders has space. Johnson to Hall, trying to beat the shot clock. Drills it. Inside, Triore somehow comes down with it, and just like he's done all night, goes up with it and puts it in. On the other end, tough loss for Jameer Nelson and the Horn Frogs, who will fight to the final buzzer. The second half shocker delivered by Mark Pope and the BYU Cougars.